The sun's rays enter through the room, making me squint my eyes while bringing up my palm before my eyes to prevent the light from disturbing my sleep. I look to my side when I hear the bathroom door being opened, and there came a shirtless Jian Jian Rubis just with our wrapped around his waist. He stood there in front of the closet while trying to find clothes to wear, while his back was on full display for me to see. The water droplets from his feet had roamed around his muscular back, tracing his spine, then disappearing through the fabric of the towel. I gulped when his back muscle contracted when he lifted his arms while searching for the cup. Why do I feel like he has become more muscular than before? Is he become taller too? There is no wonder the girls are hit over you for it. John Jumping is all rounder with a great personality, academic sports, and being this much handsome is like cherry on top. Every girl wanted to be his, and the boys wanted to be him. And there is Jungle, who now stood beside me through this month. I bit my lips when I felt myself being heated up. I gripped the cover to half of my face, hiding while gawking at his back. And then a sudden kick made me hiss, and to make him turn around, only to catch me staring at him. I dipped my head inside the cover and waited for him to say something cocky-like, like what you see, like any other fiction. I looked at him through the covers when I didn't hear anything already. Imagine the snug place on his lips that caught off guard when he looked at me with a soft smile. I blinked at him while he made his way towards the bed, sitting at the edge beside my knee. By staring at me all this time, he leaned down to my face. I turned my face away from him, biting my lips. Placing his index finger below my chin, he made me look at him again. You can stare as much as you want, love. It's all yours, he said while his hand indicated his body up and down. And I'm sure my face will look all right by now. I placed my palm on his chest, trying to push him away, but the man doesn't seem to budge in his place. He chuckled at me before taking my palm on his own, kissing the inside of my palm as he stood up, then made his way towards the closet again. Are you going somewhere? It's the weekend, right? He stopped his action, turning towards me. It's not me, baby. We are going somewhere. He then walked towards me with a pile of cloths, handing it to me. I looked at the cloths to him, to the cloths and to him again. Is this another checkup? We already went to the doctor, right? He chuckled at my questions before grabbing my arm to fix me up slowly. It's not for checkup, boy. It's I'm taking you somewhere. Even though my mind and body wanted to stay in bed all night, he said that on me and he walked towards the bathroom to get ready. Are you ready, baby? I nodded while twirling in front of me to show my dress. Hmm. Did you take your medicine? I nodded at him while showing the glass that sat on the nightstand. Is my princess good there? I smiled while rubbing my hands on my tummy before nodding my head. Then are we ready to go? I nodded my head immediately while grabbing his arm. We left from our home to only see no sky. Where are we going? I whined for the third time while he smiled at my pouting lips, then turned forward to look at the road. I hopped in my seat while wrapping my arms around my chest, leaning in the seat, gazing out through the window. The car soon came to halt in front of a building. I looked at the building in utter confusion before looking at him to see no one. My heart started to race at an unknown fear before I heard the door of my side being unlocked, and soon a hand started rubbing my arm. Turning my head to the side, my eyes immediately met with his. The tears started to well up in my eyes. I drove myself at him. He immediately wrapped his arms around me, preventing me from falling. He started patting my back while whispering in order to say something in my ear before I calmed down. I looked at him, then at the building that stood in front of us. The unwanted and dreaded memories came to my mind, making me shudder at my spot. But the hands that still wrap around me made me realize I'm not here for any punishment or any other fault that did that with him. Jungkook lifted his hand out to me with a smile. I looked at it for a second before taking it inside mine. We made our way inside the church. I looked around the church to find no one. Being confused as ever, I looked at Jungkook to see him already looking at me. He took my hand and brought me near the cross in the altar before taking both of my palms in his. Say oi and. It may be kind of cheesy, but when I said I love you, I really mean it. You are the one I wanted to see when I'm going to bed, and you will be the one that came to my mind.
and work of Amity and Melee to Prince. He sang for the Karis Mutami where the tears started to gather in my eyes. I wanted to be the person you will be looking for when any trouble comes to you. Not that I let it come anyway. He chuckled while rap wiping my tears with water rolling down my eyes. Since you are someone who believes in him, his hand pointed at the cross while his eyes stayed with mine. He knelt before me while bringing out a tiny box. Will you marry me, Wayan? I blinked my tears away while looking at his figure. Despite the shock, I immediately nodded my head at him. He stood up from his place before placing his lips on mine. After a few minutes, he leaned away from mine and looked at the other side of his face. She said yes, and as if it was Victor, a group of people came out of a hiding spot. I looked around to find the rest of the bank and boys and his parents and lost in my mother standing clapping happily at us. I hurriedly walked towards her, my arms automatically wrapped around her form, hugging her tightly beside my bum. She patted my back before leaning away, her hands supported my cheeks, making me feel her soft skin against mine. Her thumb started caressing my cheekbone before she leaned in, placing a peck on my forehead. You look so beautiful, Oyen. Her hands caressed my hair before she smiled at me while nodding her head at something or rather someone behind me. I turned around to look at him who was now offering his hand to me. I took it from mine before he made our way towards the altar again. I blinked my eyes at him when I found the church father standing at the altar. I'm not going to wait anymore, Ian. Let's get married right now. What? Right now? Mm, right now. Everyone's here. Well, so why not? But we can hold it sometime if you're not ready. I shook my head at him while gripping his hand tightly. I let out a heavy breath before nodding at him. I'm ready. And there, the money is my losses. He smiled at me before leaning in to give me a peck on my forehead and telling the prayers to start the ritual. Do you, John John Rutik, try Oyen as your lawful weather wife and be with her through thick and thin and promise to love her? I do. He answered immediately, making me smile. The prayers turned towards me. Do you try away and take John Jungkook as your lovely wedded husband to be with him through thick and thin and promise to love him? His hand started to tremble before I gave the answer. I intertwined my hands with him to lessen his nervousness, which he returned with a smile. My eyes traveled towards the bedroom door where I found Janko came out in cash room. I squinted my eyes in confusion since the exams were already over. Where is he heading to? Where are you going? He looked at me before making his way towards the couch where I am currently sitting. His hand patted my head before leaning down to give me a peck. Your mom called me saying there are some documents of you we left behind so I am gonna fetch it really quick, okay? Mom? It's been roughly a month since I lost to Sahar. Without knowing, my lips stretched into a pout before I grabbed his arm, cringing on it. I want to see mom too. Jungkook shook his head immediately, taking my arm away from him. His index finger tapped on my forehead lightly. He moved his index finger left and right, saying no. Your bitch of a father might be there, so no. He said sickly, no, this time of the day he will be in the church and don't say bad words in front of me and my baby. I glared at him before making my best puppy face. This method will work for anyone in the dramas I watched and my eyes lit up when he widened his eyes before looking at his side. From where did you learn this? His palm covered his face, preventing me from seeing him. I took the chance and wrapped my arms around his waist and looked at him. As if she is waiting for us the whole time, the door opens before we can even knock at it. She looked shocked while seeing me standing there with the eight month belly popping out. But a smile came to her lips as she wrapped her arms around me and smiled in her arms before Jungkook steps inside. My mom nodded her head at him before she walked to the couch to get a file, which I think contained my documents. Then I started talking to the infill, which made me bored. 
I made my way towards my old room looking at my old pictures which I left behind. My mind came to reality when a pair of arms wrapped around me. I looked behind to see him smiling at me before he looked ahead to see my baby photo. My cheeks started to heat up. I looked down to avoid his gaze on me. My mind got alerted when the engine of a car was heard outside. I panicked from just the thought of my father being here. Rushed to push up candy hair from outside my room before it flung open. There sat my mother breathing heavily, holding the door frame for support. Jungkook immediately left towards her side, keeping her still. He is here, leave from here. She let out heavy breaths, but widened her eyes when a powerful force made her drop to the ground despite Jungkook holding her. Jungko gripped his head when the same force came to the back of his head. He held his hand from the pain. My wife saw his face of pain in horror and it rewarded him when a figure came to my view behind him holding an iron rod. He brought his hand up in the air again before flung at his head again, making him lose his balance, falling to the bedroom floor. An ear-piercing scream left my lips before I cradled towards his side, holding his chill from falling unconscious in fear. But I couldn't even touch him when a hand gripped my neck, dragging me outside the room. Jungkook gripped my arm from one hand while the other still cupping his head, where a red liquid can be seen. To make me stay, but my father kicked his arm, forcing him to let me go. Despite Jungkook's pleading and my cry, my father dragged me down the living room through the stairs, making me let out a cry while holding my nose, painful for me. A sudden pain crashed through my tummy when he pushed me to the ground from the second stair. I crouched down in front of him while holding my tummy in pain. A hand in my hair made me look up to see my father gritting his teeth. He lifted his hand to slap me. I covered my cheek from the stinging pain before wrapping my arms around my tummy again to prevent any more hits. Before he could hit me again, he was pushed to the ground by a force. I looked at my side to see Jungkook barely standing there holding his head. The tensional liquid rolled from his head to his neck. Fitting his shirt as he walked towards me. But before he could reach me, my father kicked him on his side, making him fall to the ground. As long as Janko is muscular, my father is a well built man, and with the pain he is feeling from his head, it will be easy for him to win against Janko. My father's eyes showed pure anger before he walked towards me with a shining material in his hand. My eyes widened at the knife he was holding to see his eyes to see no more remorse for his only daughter. I cupped my hands in front of me, begging him to not to do that, but he swung his arm to my tummy and then everything seemed to be slowed down. Janko came in front of me, taking the hit for me. He dropped to the ground while the blood came from the one he held the knife in his hand. And when he finally clicked me, what happened? I let out a scream at the top of my lungs. Before I could hold him, a sudden pain made me scream again while holding my tummy. A wetness between my legs made me look down to see blood. I gripped my stomach tightly while letting out a cry. Jungkook looked at me in the blood. The tears left his eyes while he gripped my arms tightly. It's okay. Everything, everything will be okay. He chopped out the word, trying to convince me while himself having a gun. I looked up to my father to see him looking at his hands. Maybe he regretted what he did. He took a step towards me but dropped to the ground. Behind him stood my mother with a vase. She screamed at him before hitting him again and again, but stopped when looking at her state. She walked to the landline, calling for the helpline immediately. And soon, the siren sound can be heard while I dropped unconscious, lastly hearing him. I love you again from the bottom of my heart. A stinging pain in my stomach made me open my eyes to see a bright feeling. I just looked at the white feeling for a second before looking around to know where exactly I was. Squinting my eyes, I looked at the white wall surrounding me and the beast sound was here beside me. I looked at the side to see a bedside monitor and its wires connected to me. I was in a hospital. The pain in my head made me cry. Before the early incidents came to my mind, made me panic. I tried to sit, but the pain in my stomach reminded me of a wonderful cut. I looked at the side when a quick sound was heard from the door. The door opened. And there was an entire area walking slowly towards me in a hospital room. I felt relieved to see her say, but it immediately washed down when my eyes caught her now flat stomach. A lump formed in my throat. The adrenaline rushed through every bone and they made many possibilities of what just came to my mind. 
what seemed like a raspy cry left my lips made her aware of me waking up she looked at me with wide and eyes before walking towards us to ease her the pain she came towards my side and handed me a glass of water i gulped the raspy of the on my throat before looking at her face my princess i choked out a sob but she immediately caught what i said and smiled at me she's so pretty just like you huh she is under medical care since she born early they are keeping her for few weeks then we can got her back to her home she sat beside me while tears in her bangs were scattered on her forehead i caught her hand in mine kissing it with a palm i closed in my eyes and the doctor came inside to do a check up and told me i need to stay here for a week before discharge And now we sat beside each other in my bed while I was leaning on the pillow she sat beside me keeping her head on my shoulder I couldn't help but to ask a question that bugged me since I woke up What happened to him She looked at me for a second before a white smile spread down her lips The boy said he locked her for good I blinked my eyes at her not for his punishment but her question Did you just curse why I? She shrugged her shoulders before leaning on my shoulder again. What did you expect from someone who waited a bad day? I chucked at her before leaning my head on her, closing my eyes. But when did you plan to collect evidence against him? I was shocked when mom told me the file consists of so many documents against him. I need to do that if I want you to be live without any worry and to make a good family for my daughter. Do you want to see her? I already got permission from the nurse. I immediately nodded my head. She pressed a button in the night stand and a nurse got into my room helping me to sit on a wheelchair. She pushed the wheelchair while I and walked with me slowly. We reached a wall that separated us from the babies by a glass. My eyes started wandering to one to another while a pat my knee looked at my side. Why and smile at me before directing towards a crib where a baby wrapped in a blanket with a machine that supporting her breathing. The trauma princess jumped up. She held my hand in hers while still not averting her eyes from her daughter. I looked at our princess and towards the woman who stood beside me while smiling at our daughter. I held her hand tightly in mine while vowing to myself that I will not let you do the most precious woman in my life suffer. That's my promise.